it was known that the only location that the three lobsters was found was in the Lord Howe Island. They were very abundant in there, people used them as fish with sometimes as food, but never got in any problems with its conservation. Until 1918, a supply ship called the SS Macambo got into an accident close to the island, drowning a woman and releasing black rats into the island, causing the beginning of a massive loss for the three lobster species. Black rats reproduce very quickly. In just a few months, the island was full of them, making the tree lobster one of their main prey. The tree lobster's numbers went decreasing so low that by 1920 there was no evidence of any tree lobster left in the island, and it was considered extinct. Close to the Lord Howe Island, there is another island called Ball's Pyramid, where many expeditions were made to see if the tree lobsters live in that island as well. 80 years passed and they could only found dead tree lobsters, but never found one alive, so they couldn't confirm that it was not extinct. But after 81 years in 2001, two scientists, David Priddle and Nicholas Carlyle, decided to go to an expedition at night, where they thought that the insects could be more active. And after some time, they discovered a population of 24 tree lobsters living under a plant, rediscovering the species. There are many zoos that are helping to breed this insect, like the Melbourne Zoo, the Bristol Zoo, the Toronto Zoo, and the San Diego Zoo. And with their help, the species now has more than 35,000 living specimens. Female tree lobsters are a little bit bigger than the males, measuring from 13 to 15 centimeters, and the males measures from 10 to 12 centimeters, which is pretty big for an insect. The nymphs, when born, measure around 2 cm, with a coloration of light green, but as they reach maturity, they start to get a black coloration. Tree lobsters reproduce when the female lays eggs in the soil and the male fertilizes them. But sometimes males might not be around, so the female has to adapt and they can actually fertilize the eggs without the need of a male. In a lifetime, a female can lay up to 300 eggs, each egg lasts around 6 months to hatch. The natural habitat of the tree lobsters were only the two islands that we mentioned before, the Lord Howe Island and the Balls Pyramid, which are both in Australia and are actually very close together. But since the Black Rats incident, the natural habitat of the tree lobster has been reduced to only the bulge pyramid. 